Welcome back to NSUSpartans.com, fueled by Gatorade. We're here at the Kyle Quinn uh, Robert Jones uh, basketball camp. We've got the little kids running around having fun here. They do it every year um, here at Eccles Hall. And but today we're catching up with some of the uh, former greats, former Spartan greats here. And right now we've got Chris McEachin. He was only here for two years, but they were a memorable two years. He was, of course, on the 2012 team that won the NC, uh, MEAC tournament. Of course, upset Missouri, the, uh, the one that everyone knows about. Uh, we got the banner up there celebrating that. Um, Nice banner. A nice banner? It, yeah, it's a, real, it's a real nice banner. <laughs> You're in there somewhere. Yeah, right, yeah, in the right, there, yeah, <laughs> right in the it's middle. Yeah, yeah. It's a good picture, too, so yeah. I really like it. I picked out those pictures, so I was like, okay, I gotta get a good picture it's of Chris. I really appreciate you. Yeah. Really appreciate you but um, obviously, Chris, kind of talk about what you've been doing lately. You've been playing overseas as well. What you've been doing lately, where you've been, and um, maybe I guess where, where your future is holding, where are you trying to play, maybe the kind of upcoming year and stuff. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, after the 2012 season, so it was a good season. Uh, I went to, I went abroad to play basketball. I was in, mostly mainly in Europe. I was in the Middle East for a stint as well. Uh, last year, I was in France for maybe the first six or seven months since August. And then uh, I went out to the Eastern Europe to Bulgaria, the, the Balkan states. I played with a team in the from the Balkan League. And uh, okay. it was a really good experience, both in France and also in the, in the Balkan states. Uh, when I first got to France, I took Spanish in school, so <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I was like, dang, I should have learned French instead. And um, I was there working on my learning French, so I learned how to pick up the language a little bit. I don't speak it as fluent as I would like just yet, but I speak it enough, a pequeño, a little, a little. Yeah. And uh, then I go to Eastern Europe, they speak in Russian. <laughs> I, I, it was funny because uh, I took all. I took so much pride in learning French, and now I'm learning Russian. So I was mixed up saying different Russian words with French yeah. words, it was crazy. And um, on the basketball note, uh, things were really good. Uh, I didn't play last season. I had took some time off, focused on some, some family issues at home, local issues. And uh, this year was like probably one of my better seasons performance-wise as a pro over there. Uh, caught a couple highlight plays, um, was able to make moves that I, I was I was more patient, more, mm -hmm. more, more experienced with basketball now. So yeah. I had one of my best seasons just yet. So, Next year, maybe, I, maybe I will either go to the Middle East, uh, somewhere in Eastern Europe, or maybe I will go back to France. I'm not sure exactly which one I, 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 I'm leaning towards to just yet. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, there's a lot of it too. Is you know, um, still deciding. You know, it doesn't really get, decisions don't really get made till way later in the summer and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I guess I guess some um, big thing is uh, you've been to all these places and stuff. I guess for you, it's it's got to be. Interesting and fun to to see all these different places. You know, when you're in France, you're in the Middle East, and you're in all these different locations. You've been to be able to kind of see all these different cultures and visit all these different places that maybe if you hadn't been playing basketball, you never would have seen. Yeah, definitely, it's definitely, a, it's a gift, man. It's a blessing as well. You know, uh, I'm able to travel uh, for free, basically. And, uh, you know, I, I get to see, experience new cultures, embrace new people, uh, new countries, going to see old his, historic, uh, very like sightseeing like the, the Eiffel Tower, yeah. religious places. Uh, I went to, I was in uh, Yerevan, Armenia. Armenia, mm -hmm. I, I also, I went to Armenia. It was a very historical, religious country, city. It was like, a, it was very nice to see. It, it was cool to see different things in life, you know. In America, everything is industrialized. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, man, like, and also in France, like, it was, it was really cool because I also was close. I live. I, I stayed close to Penny. Penny was in Germany, mm -hmm. so every now and then, well, we met up in Paris one time. Well, the whole family and Rashid Gaston. Are you yeah. spent off state? We all went to go, go have dinner, and whatnot. So oh, there you go. it's kind of cool that you can meet, you can hang with your old college teammates in a, in Europe. You know, in a foreign land. So yeah, exactly. Cool. I guess I guess the t big thing too. I'd always wondered is, obviously, there's a culture shock to it. But like, do you ever like, like? different food, something that you really like, you know, that they don't have here that you, they have there that you really like. Like, man, I wish I could get this back home or yeah, something. Yeah, or? right. Um, for me, uh, like, I, I have, like, I picked up some trends that I do now. Like, I put milk in my tea whenever I drink tea now. Like, mm -hmm. I, I love hot tea with milk. Uh, and I also, I put sour cream in my soup. Like, I, <laughs> I, I kind of need to have sour cream in my yeah. soup. Like, I, and I don't even think I like sour cream, but I like it in my soup. Like, it's kind of weird. <laughs> And I, I remember I asked my teammate, he's a, a Ukrainian guy, and I was like, "Yo, why, why do you put, why do you guys put sour cream in the soup?" 
he was like, you, have you ever tried it? I was like, no. He was like, you try it. And I tried it. I'm like, oh, man. This, 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 this. It's, it's always good to learn that stuff. But uh, obviously, coming back home, you're from the, the Norfolk area, yeah. so obviously this is kind of home for you. But what is it like being able to come, you know, uh, I know you've helped out before with these camps when you can. What is yeah. it like being able to come and, and really kind of, you know, many years ago you were in this position. What is yeah. it like to be able to kind of, to now be in that upper position where you're helping these little kids and helping them grow and, and you know. Yeah, it feel, it, it's, it's kind of like ironic. It kind of feels a little a little, a little little funny to me because I still play. But uh, yeah. it, it's, a, it's a great feeling, man. It's so, I, I, like, you, you know, developing a love for these children, you know, like they become family. Some mm -hmm. come, been, been part of, been campers for years. You know, like I see some of them grow in the last two or three years. I'm, like, I'm happy to see some of them got, some of them took basketball series, they're getting better. They're taking the things that we teach them. They learn from that, so it's, it's, it's really a, like a, a blessing. Like it's it's cool to to see the kids be excited about basketball as much as I am. Yeah. yeah. Well, again, it's uh, we're here with uh, Chris McKeachin again, once again, star of the 2012 team. Scored, uh, I forget how many points it was. Yeah, 20? 20. Yeah. Was it 20? Yeah. 20 points in the win over Missouri. Uh, he was instrumental. Second team on me, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, that yeah. year. You were too. Mm -hmm. So it was one of one of NSU's best years ever. And of course, this is one of the stars of that team. Still going strong. Um, just like some of our other players, Moda Loach, Pendarvis Williams, a whole bunch of others. Still playing, still playing overseas, still going strong. So Chris, once again, thanks for uh, catching up with us. Thank and we'll you. talk to you again. Thank you. Spartan, go Spartan. Go Spartans, that's right. Chris McKeachin, thank you again for listening and watching NSU Spartans.com, fueled by Gatorade.